Walking is slow. Running is slightly less slow. Sprinting is kind of fast, but limited. Swimming is dangerous. Gliding is pretty fast, but also limited. When it comes to traveling around, we've got no shortage of options to do so. And for good reason. Genshin Impact is a fairly large map, and if past updates are anything to go by, it's only going to get bigger. So, because of the massive size of its map, a lot of the gameplay in Genshin Impact revolves around exploring this in one way or another. And that's, that's especially true in early game, where all the map is locked and you've got to progress the story in order to explore. Of course, that means it's less true for end game players, who really only explore for new quests, new zones, and the daily commissions that are scattered randomly throughout the map every day. So, being such a cornerstone of what Genshin Impact gameplay has to offer, you would think that Mahoya would have designed a clever way for players to explore more efficiently and give them a good way to enjoy the map while they were at it. Their solution to this? Teleport waypoints. A lot of them. In theory, it sounds like a great way for players to get around quick and easy. Just click twice, wait for a few seconds, and you're there. There's a couple of problems with this system. You know, other than how it blinds you half the time. Throwing flashbang. The biggest problem with teleporting is how it circumvents what I see as one of Genshin Impact's biggest strengths. The map itself. For me at least, Genshin Impact is at its best when you have no idea what you're doing. That first few weeks of playing and exploring the map, those first few weeks were some of the most fun I've had in Genshin. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who thinks this way. Walking around and enjoying the honestly very pretty sights that this game has to offer is one of the reasons that I keep playing Genshin Impact. And what I'm suggesting is a way for players to enjoy more of this. How would we enjoy more of what's already there? The answer is simple, mounts. So, what are mounts? How would you not know? It's pretty self-explanatory. Mounts, if you don't know, are rideable methods of transportation. They're typically seen in open-world games and MMOs like Final Fantasy XIV and World of Warcraft. What's neat about the mounts in these games is that they're usually allowed to fly. So, imagine using an item, like you would a toy or a gadget, and instead of tossing a ball, you would summon a rideable mount that would let you experience all of this from the sky. Granted, we do have gliders, but gliding and flying are two separate things entirely. Having the ability to fly would open up a lot for everyday play in Genshin Impact. As a start, it would make the chore of doing daily commissions a whole lot more interesting than just teleport here, kill enemies here, teleport there, escort a balloon here. Now, I don't mean Mahoya should remove every last waypoint or remove teleportation altogether. That would make getting places horribly tedious and a massive time investment. But giving players the option to choose how they get around as they do their dailies or even just go exploring would be a huge improvement to the game as a whole. Now, mounts wouldn't just introduce a new way for players to get around. Another element that they could bring to the game is the ability for players to chase collectibles. When I say collectibles, I don't mean the gadgets, like the mini Sealy or a different colored camera. I'm talking about cosmetics. If you know anything about the mounts in these games, you probably know that there's a lot of them. And players like this. They like to chase collectibles because it gives them a reason to play the game which is something that Genshin Impact sorely needs right now. Mounts could be acquired in any number of ways. Some of them could be tied to certain domains, where each run could give you a chance to earn a mount with your subpar artifacts. A player could have a chance at getting a mount by completing certain puzzles in the open world, or by completing specific hidden world quests. Some mounts could be awarded for completing certain achievements. You could even make some rare drops from one of the five weekly bosses. The point is, mounts would give players a reason to log in and play the game instead of just do your chores and dump your resin. 
and there's something that I think the game would really benefit from in the long run. Who am I kidding? We all know that the minute that they're added to the game, Mahoya's just gonna toss them straight into the gotcha system. Hello, YouTube. How's it going? So, in case the video wasn't clear enough, I think Mounts would make a fantastic addition to Genshin Impact. Also, I'm sitting at nearly 10,000 subscribers now, which is pretty ridiculous. You know what else is sort of ridiculous? The fact that only 0.6% of the people who watch my stuff are subscribed. Wow. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's all for me today. See you next time.